Hey everyone, on this late edition of the Tip Tuesday, I'm going to talk about how to apply joints to your models and how to assemble them, uh, how to assemble parts in a, in a model. So yeah, let's get started. So what you see here is a tripod that I imported from GrabCAD. Uh, essentially, you just upload it um, to your dashboard and then you can open it and this happens to be a step file that opens and has all the components in the browser. Uh, so the, all these components are not joined together. They're just placed in the right places. Um, so I'm going to join them. And there's a really easy way to do that. Um, and it's with as-built joints. Right now, you don't see it because you're in this direct modeling environment when you bring in a, uh, a third third-party uh, model. So I'm going to go to the top node of my model, right click and say capture design history. What this will do will enable the history timeline and also some uh, some parametric tools, some history tools. So now you see that uh, assemble now has two two top uh, commands. It has joint and then it has as built joint. We're going to use as built joint. So I'm going to click that and now I can start applying joints. Now, uh, unlike conventional, the conventional joint command, you don't have to pick exactly where you want your two parts to snap. You can just say, I want this to join with this guy, and I want this to be a rigid. And now it's joined. And now it looks like it actually joined all three, So, which makes it even easier for me to, to figure that, to, to go and join all my models. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to say repeat as build joint. What I just did there was... I right clicked and I held and I just let go because I knew that was my repeat last command option. So I did that and now I'm going to say I'm going to join this guy and this guy and instead of rigid I'm going to do a slider and I'm going to place the slider uh, right there right in the middle. Now you can ultimately go in there and set the limits to how much you want it to slide um, by going into your uh, joints uh, folder which uh, doesn't appear to be there right now. Why doesn't it be, appear to be there? Well, anyway, if you don't find it, you can go here and you can say edit joint or edit joint limits, and you can set the limits you want it to, to slide. Uh, so I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to show you how to join all these things. So essentially, just go to the parts and, and join them. So, yep, this grommet with this guy rigid and done that's joined I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna look at the connector and this looks like to be a revolute join just based on how it's built so repeat as built joint connect this guy in the base plate here this is a revolute and uh, it's gonna revolve around there there you go and done join that guy. So you can do that that revolute joint for all three connectors and then you know you can do the uh, as build joint for the screw body and the base plate and it's also a revolute and it's gonna revolve around there so alright that's that's joined and just waking, working my way to the top here repeat as build joint this um, okay so actually I'm gonna cancel out I'm gonna join uh, this this head to the the ball the uh, tripod mount here so repeat as point joint as built joint I'm gonna pick this guy first join that now instead of revolute it's gonna be a ball joint I'm gonna select the ball and now this is now a ball joint I'm gonna say okay now a couple more couple more joints repeat joint this guy this guy this is gonna be rigid say okay repeat joint this guy and this guy rigid alright now we have one more joint left which is this here uh, repeat joint this guy and this guy and instead of a rigid this is gonna be a nap revolute right about up oh, no, that's not the right. That's not the right one. Let's try that again. It's gonna be this guy and this guy, and I'm gonna zoom in a little closer. Revolute, revolve around there. Yes, perfect. And say yes. 
And in a matter of a couple minutes, I've got my whole tripod assembly pretty much joined, except for a couple of here, which are just duplicate of the one that I, I did earlier. And uh, yeah, there you go. That's that's really the the the, the power and the ease of as built joints. So uh, check it out. Hopefully you can use it in some of your models. And uh, hopefully this was helpful. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. And uh, yeah, we would love to uh, to help you out. And see you guys next time. Later.